Welcome everyone, my name is Zach, and in this video I'm going to explain how to completely change the look of your Tesla Model 3 for under $400 with just two cosmetic modifications. Before I get too far into this, I totally understand that appearance is subjective, and you may love the way that the stock Model 3 looks. But I think the appearance from the factory is focused very heavily on luxury, and not necessarily sportiness. And for a car as quick as this, I would like it to look a little more aggressive and sporty. Now it took a while for me to come to this conclusion, but I think most of my issue with the car from the factory is all of the chrome. I think chrome in general actually distracts people from the angles on the car. Like the Model 3 actually has very aggressive and stocky shoulders over the rear wheels that I didn't really notice before. Now interestingly, it seems that Tesla actually came to the same conclusion about the chrome, because if you look at the Tesla Model Y, you'll notice that all of the trim is actually black and not chrome. And I really wish they would make this an option on the Model 3 because it looks so much better. So that brings me to the first modification that totally changes the look of your Tesla Model 3. Get rid of the chrome. I'm not really a fan of chrome on most cars, and I think black trim just makes a car look so much more sporty and aggressive. And I am 100% biased in my opinion that it looks the best on the deep blue metallic Tesla Model 3. Now in the automotive world, getting rid of the chrome on a car like this is known as a chrome delete. And there's an amazing chrome delete kit on Amazon for the Tesla Model 3 that's just $139. So I installed this kit myself and it took about eight hours to do the entire car. And that was going fairly slow and really learning how to use the vinyl because the only experience that I had with installing vinyl like this was on the center console in the Model 3. Which by the way, wrapping the center console on a Model 3 is a must. The stock glossy piano black finish on that thing is just bad. It reflects light like crazy, and no matter how often you clean it, it's going to be covered in dust and fingerprints. So I highly recommend a matte black vinyl wrap like I put on mine, which was only $30 and totally worth it. Okay, so back to the Chrome Delete kit on the exterior. So not only did it give you two of every piece of vinyl in case you made mistakes, but it also came with a heat gun for shrinking around corners and insanely detailed videos on YouTube on how to install every single piece. And based on this, I think it's totally worth it to do this project yourself. Yourself. Sure, you'll have to dedicate a day to do it, but I think that's totally worth it compared to paying two, three, four times as much to get this professionally done. Now this kit is actually designed to black out all chrome on the car, and that includes all the window trim, the side view mirrors, the emblems, and even the door handles. So to wrap up, I highly recommend this Chrome Delete kit. I think it looks amazing, and at $140, it's a steal. Now the second modification that goes along really well with the Chrome Delete is some window tint. And this really completes the look of the car, limiting visibility into the cabin, and making people focus their eyes on the actual shape of the car. So I paid $240 for the tint on my car, which is a 25% ceramic tint. And a 25% tint just means that 25% of the light can get through it and 75% is rejected. I got this tint professionally installed at a local tint shop and I highly recommend that you do the same. Window tint can be pretty tricky to install and at only $240, I think it's worth it just to go get it professionally done. I'd recommend finding a few places with pretty good reviews in your area and get quotes from all of them before making a decision on the shop. Now, as far as the tint itself, I do have a couple recommendations. I would say target anywhere in the 20 to 30% tint range, depending on what's legal in your state. Getting something darker than a 20% tint may look good, but it's quite dangerous with night driving, so I don't really recommend that. And it makes visibility out of the side view mirrors nearly impossible at night. Now the other recommendation that's actually Model 3 specific is to just do the side windows. Most people will typically do the rear window as well, and in the Model 3, that's not really easy. Tesla uses one enormous piece of glass on the back half of the car. This glass is heavily tinted over the rear passengers, but then it fades to clear for rear visibility out of the rear view mirror. And there's really no way to tint just the clear part without it looking terrible. So in my opinion, it's not even worth dealing with. Save the money and you'll never even notice. So in conclusion, I realize that everyone has different tastes and you may love the way my Model 3 looks, or you may hate it, but I really like the way that the blue and black look together. And from my experience, everyone I've talked to has said that they like this look way better than the look from the factory. Even my mom said that. Or are they all just saying that because they don't want to hurt my feelings? Anyway, I've linked the Chrome Delete kit and center console wrap that I bought in the description down below in case you want to check them out. And if you want to get your windows tinted, just search around for highly rated tint shops in your area and get a few quotes so that you know you're getting a good price. But with that said, that's all for today. Leave a comment down below and let me know if you think that these two modifications make the car look better or if you prefer the look from the factory. Regardless, thanks for watching and consider hitting the like button and subscribing if you enjoyed this video and want to learn more about living with an electric vehicle.